Dates are a great winter food that come loaded with nutrients like iron and antioxidants. But, they are also higher in calories, as compared to other dried fruits, and one is usually not advised to consume too many in one go. This small-sized yet power-packed food is beneficial to health in many ways. However, dates do contain a high amount of natural sugars such as fructose, sucrose, and glucose. So, can diabetics eat dates? Watch the full video to know studies on dates in relation with diabetes and please subscribe our channel to get more health videos. Study 1, Effective Glycemic Index of Dates on Diabetics A 2002 study published in Nutrition Journal showed the glycemic index effects of five varieties of dates on diabetics. The study showed that the consumption of dates resulted in a significant reduction in postprandial glucose excursions. So, dates benefit diabetic sufferers when consumed as a part of a healthy and balanced diet. Study 2, Dates Combined with Insulin Reduce Glucose Level Another study conducted at the King Syed University showed the hyperglycemic effect of dates. It found that date seed extract combined with insulin, decreases the blood glucose level to normal, compared to administering insulin alone. Study 3, Dates Can Prevent Neuropathy Those with diabetes suffer from nerve damage, which causes tingling or numbness in the feet. A 2011 study conducted at the Neuroscience Research Center found that a compound found in dates can be used to prevent diabetic neuropathy. While diabetics are advised to limit their date intake, it doesn't mean that non-diabetics can munch on them excessively. Does eating dates cause diabetes? No, if you are not a diabetic, eating dates or other sweet foods will not cause diabetes. Consuming an excessive amount of dates will certainly lead to weight gain. If consumed in extremely high amounts, dates can increase your risk of type 2 diabetes or result in insulin resistance. Also, other health conditions such as ovarian cysts and hormonal fluctuations can also develop and lead to weight gain and insulin resistance. So, moderation is key.